Welcome to my channel Trader UK where I post daily videos about money and how I'm managing my money. I also post a recap video once a week where we have a look at what's working, what isn't working. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos for more of the same. Today we're going to be looking at NSNI, National Savings and Investments, who specialise in UK government backed securities, so a very, very safe way to be investing. If you're from the UK, you probably recognise them from the post office, and I'm sure lots of you have, have held accounts with them in the past. Their one specific product I want to look at today, their premium bonds. Uh, and the question I'm going to answer, how much did I earn with £50,000 worth of premium bonds and I'm not talking about just what it says on their website I've actually done this little experiment with myself so I'll show you the results from that a premium bond is essentially a lottery ticket that gets entered into a monthly draw each bond is going to be worth one pound but unlike the the usual lottery that we play you never lose your initial investment so after the draw is made even if you didn't win you'll still have one pound looking at their website the minimum investment per person is currently 25 pound and the maximum is 50,000 pounds per person any winnings that you have are tax-free which is always nice they give a theoretical rate of 1.4% here which means that 1.4% across a year um, of the entire fund is paid out in prizes but because it's broken up into different prize amounts from £25 all the way up to £1 million you could get less than 1.4% and you could get way more than 1.4% if you won one of the bigger prizes that's why it's just a, a theoretical uh, percentage there. So I went ahead and bought 50,000 of these bonds and the first draw I was entitled to enter uh, as you have to hold them for a full calendar month before you can enter a draw was October 2019 and in this draw three out of my 50,000 bonds won prizes uh, totaling £75. Now I was actually quite happy with this if you work out the return across a year it's something like 1.8% which isn't much money uh, but lots of people had said that you never win any prizes it's all a fix so it was quite exciting to see that people are actually winning these prizes and from there I was pretty hopeful that I might end up winning one of the bigger prizes this here then shows my prize history of how the following months played out November only one bond won a prize of 25 pound December I won £50, January was actually my biggest win with £150 in total because one of the bonds won one of the £100 prizes so I was pretty happy with that. Then February another £50. After February I actually lost interest a little bit and started to withdraw some of the funds to invest elsewhere so I didn't include March and April in my little experiment. So in summary, across the five months I held the 50,000 premium bonds, I averaged £70 per month, which is around 1.6-1.7% return across a year. For me, I'm going to give premium bonds the thumbs up. I'll continue to hold some bonds, although probably not as many. They're probably not going to generate any huge returns for me but there's always that chance and that's what makes it exciting. So rather than wasting 25 pound, 50 pound per month on scratch cards, on national lottery tickets, like lots and lots of people do, why not buy the equivalent in bonds? It's exactly the same thing, but without the risk of losing. Well, I hope you found that useful. Subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos and you'll actually see where I ended up investing the money that I withdrew from the premium bonds.